Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing and in today's tip video I'm going to show you how you can create a 33 touch campaign and add custom pieces to that 33 touch to send out to your contact database right away. And if you're not familiar with email drip campaigns, they are a great way to stay in contact with your clients. Basically, you can set up this 33 touch campaign one time and it will send out a series of emails over the course of a year to your contacts to make sure that you're staying in contact with your clients and help with retention and possibly procure future uh, contacts as well. Okay, Turn your contacts into clients. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is log into your mykw.kw.com account. And that's where I am on my screen here. So again, that is mykw.kw.com, as you'll see in the top of my browser here. And to start editing your campaigns, what you'll need to do is focus on this eEdge control panel box on the top center of your screen. You'll want to select the plus sign to the right of My Marketing. Let's go ahead and click on that gray plus sign here. And let's select Manage and Create Campaigns. That'll be that second option there. So that's Manage and Create Campaigns, the second blue link on that drop down menu. And that will take you over to your campaign section right away. So the first thing we're going to do is click Add New Campaign on the top right of your screen, that big blue button there. So again, that's Add New Campaign on the top right of your screen, that blue button there. And that will take you to all the different campaigns that you have available in your account. All right, in this case, I have 64 results found. So there's quite a few campaigns in here. And there's also a new 33 touch that Market Leader just released. And that should be at the top of your screen here where it says 33 touch by your side. So that's the one we'll be focusing on in today's tip video. But as you're scrolling through these campaigns to decide which one that you'd like to use, just a couple tips on what to look for. All right, first of all, you'll notice that the second one here versus the top one does have team in the subject, okay? So that puts everything in, in we and our form, okay? Instead of I and my, so it does present you as a team. That's a big difference between those. Another great thing to keep an eye out for is this, uh, this white box right here. It tells you how many email steps, how many direct mail steps, and how many activity steps are in this campaign. The activity steps are generating reminders in your account. It encourages you to do things like call your contacts and, and things like that. All right, but the big thing with direct mail steps, okay, that does cost as a campaign. So I personally like the email step campaigns because it's free. We all like that word. And right, so you can look for the email steps there. And you'll notice that you also have this gray bar here going across each campaign that will allow you to preview the steps in that campaign before selecting it. So if I want to check out this campaign, I just simply need to click on Show Campaign Step Details. It will generate this drop down here that gives me each of the campaigns. There's little blue arrows right here that I can scroll through the other campaign steps to see each one. If I want to take a closer look at that and read it, I can click on that campaign piece to make it bigger. Okay, and of course, all of these campaign pieces are completely customizable, so you can absolutely change any of this verbiage if there's anything you do not like. And just another heads up, a big question we get is, okay, my name is not Ellen Smith. All right, yeah, this information here automatically updates for you as the campaign pieces go out. So you do not need to add your contact information in here manually. The system automatically does that for you. All right, so you can uh, scroll through to see the different campaigns that you have available to you in your account. You can also use the search box on the left-hand side to make that a little faster. 
But since these new 33 touches are available, that is my personal favorite campaign just because it sends 29 emails over the course of a year. So of course a little more than uh, one per month. So it's a great uh, amount of emails that are going out. It doesn't annoy your contacts, but it makes sure that you are in the back of the mind if they six months down the road decide to buy or sell. Hey, I've been seeing a real estate agent in my inbox. I know exactly who to call. All right, so that's the idea between these email drip campaigns. So I'm simply going to click this blue choose this template button to the right of whichever campaign I'd like to select. So in this case, the 33 touch, which is the recommended campaign to choose, but totally up to you. You can choose any of the campaigns you'd like. I'll click choose this template. And it will take me in to view those campaign steps right away. Now again, you can click personalize to the right of any of the campaign pieces here. If you'd like to edit any of that information, it is not a necessary step, but you absolutely can personalize each step. So you can scroll through and look at the different campaign steps that you do have available. You'll see the email subject that it will say in their inbox and also the schedule for when that's going out. So let's say that yes, you like these campaign steps, but you have also seen other flyer templates within your eEdge account that you'd like to add to this as well. And you absolutely can do that. So you can add custom pieces to these campaigns. All you need to do is click add step, this blue button on the top right. I'm selecting add step, that blue button on the top right. and it will ask me what type of step would you like to add. So it gives you the option to add an email step, an activity step, which again would generate reminders in your account to do various activities, and a direct mail step, which of course does cost, but it allows you to send out postcards to your database as long as you have their physical address in your database. So the simplest one to select is this email option here. That is the free step. I can select email and click add step, that blue button there. And it will take me over to all the templates that I have available in my eEdge account. Now there are 488 results found as I can see on the top left here. So there are quite a few templates that you can add to your campaign. Just one or two there. All right, so you can scroll through. And let's say that you really like the did you know pieces. Okay, I find those very interesting myself. So you'll see some that say did you know. Okay, there's a couple in there. And let's say, but in theory, you can select any of the templates that you're seeing here. So as I bring that up, I selected that template and it made it bigger on my screen. I like these did you know pieces because it, it gives me a house tip. So even if I don't own a home, I still live in one, so it's a great house tip that I can apply to my daily life. So it does apply to everyone, which I enjoy. You can personalize this piece from here. All right, so if you want to change any of the verbiage or add maybe your own tips here, you can click personalize. But just a heads up again, that's not 100% necessary for you to do as your contact information will auto-populate on the piece for you before going out. Okay, it just does not show that here. If you were to click personalize, it would show you your contact information on the bottom right away if you'd like to double check that. So all I need to do from here is click add campaign, that blue button on the right side. And that will add that piece to my campaign right away. Right, from here, I just need to put a, an email subject so I can put in, did you know? Here is a great housing tip, for example. Okay, of course, that email subject can be whatever you'd like to be. All right, so that is how you would go about adding custom pieces to your campaign. All right, you will see the date that that will go out here and you can edit that if you need to. All right, so you simply click on this gray box here, 
the date field that shows you when it will send out and you can toggle that to decide exactly what date you would like that to send. And so it does give you that option as well. So just to reiterate how we did that, how we added these custom pieces, that is on the very top right. So I'm scrolling all the way up and there is that add step option on the very top right. All right, so that's how easy it is to add custom steps to your 33 touch campaign. So I'm just going to take you through the last two steps here on going ahead and activating your campaign. All right, just so you can see the full process here, we just have a couple more steps. So the first thing we'll do is click save and continue on the bottom of this section here. So that's a save and continue. It was a blue button on the bottom of that section. And I'm going down to step three, add or remove contacts. So you can simply click on where it says add or remove contacts. And that will pull up a box, a pop-up box here, that will allow you to add contacts by either groups or contacts individually. Now this adding the, uh, the groups to a campaign is a newer feature uh, with Market Leader within the last six months to a year or so. It is a very cool feature to utilize. So the groups right here, if you were to add any of these groups to the campaign, so let's say I want my buyers to receive this campaign, I want my past clients to receive this campaign, so I just simply click add to the right of that group name, and I want my sellers to receive this campaign, so I'll select add as well. So this shows you all the groups that I have available to add, and on the right-hand column, this shows me the groups I have added. So if I add these um, contacts by groups, the way I just did that, in the future, if I add any more contacts to my database and add them to the buyer's group, it will automatically add them to this campaign. So it's cutting out a step for you. It's very cool. So again, let me just say that one more time. If you add any groups to this campaign in the way that we just did here, in the future, let's say in a week from now, I add John Smith to my contact database with his email address, and I add John Smith to the buyers group. It will automatically add John Smith to this campaign that I'm setting up since he was added to that group. So pretty cool feature, cuts out a step, makes your life a little easier there. But just a heads up, so that is how you do it with groups. You can also click on the contacts option on the top of this box on the left hand side. And you can also, you know, manually go through and click to add each contact one by one here. And you can also search for those contacts. Big question that we get a lot is if a contact is unsubscribed, am I able to send these campaign emails? And the answer is no. The system takes care of any unsubscribed contacts for you. So if they unsubscribe, the system automatically will not send them emails, which is good. Legally, it's a good thing. So you don't have to worry about that at all. And from here, I'll quickly, I'll simply click Save Changes, that blue button on the top right there. And I can now see in this Add or Remove Contacts section, I have 107 contacts added and three groups. From here, as you might have guessed, we're going to go on down to the fourth and final step that says review and activate. So I'll click there. This is the final step. Uh, this alert comes up every single time. We did click save. It's an alarming alert, but it does pop up every time. So no worries on that. Just go ahead and click continue to go to the next step. Okay, so from this final step here, you do have the option to select another campaign. If you would like, once this campaign ends, it will automatically add that contact to your monthly newsletters or any other active campaigns. All right, so this drop down is deciding which campaign the contact will go on next once this campaign will end. The main things that you need to do here is just click that first checkbox. Right, authorizing Market Leader to go ahead and send out these email drip campaigns and you're agreeing that this is not a harvested list here. Okay, so make sure to read that. 
And also, you do have the option to include showcase properties, so that would make the system select uh, three properties to put on the bottom of your campaigns to prompt people to go to your website to start browsing properties there. So you can collect, select both those check mar marks. You don't have to, you can, you just have to select that first one. Okay, that one is required. And then I can click Activate Campaign. Once I do that, you'll take you back to your campaigns here and you'll see that 33 touch at the top there. Okay, right, so that is how you set up one of the new 33 touch campaigns and that is how you simply add custom pieces to the campaigns as well. So really think of these campaigns as just a template that you can completely customize on your own. You can add pieces to, take out pieces, all right? So it is completely customizable. If you have any questions at all on this, feel free to email us at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we're happy to help direct you. I hope that helped and I hope you guys have a great day.